Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna help you how to pass your T4 test. Now, I just passed mine, boom, here it is, and I'm super excited because I did fail it once, and I gotta warn you right away that this test is a little hard. If you haven't worked on tractor trailers, AK 18 wheelers to us civilians, it's gonna be difficult. I really busted my butt to pass this test because I, A, I don't have my CDL, which I've thought about getting by the way, but I've never driven a tractor trailer. I've never worked on a tractor trailer. Um, I've worked on big trucks. You know, I've, I've worked on F-250s, you know, your regular uh, uh, normal people trucks, like just trucks. But this is very tractor trailer orientated. Like, I know most of you guys are like, duh, it's T for truck. But I wasn't ready for it to be like 90% tractor trailer. I was hoping that it was going to be a little bit of like medium sized trucks. But man, this was tough. So I'm going to help you pass it. What's the very first thing you need to do? You need to buy the Motor H book. Now, I'm not sponsored by these guys. It would be so cool because I bet you that there's like a bean counter in the back of Motor Rage who's like cha-ching, cha-ching, thank you, driver's therapy, but I am not sponsored. That's okay, that's another story. So, buy the Motor Rage book. This is amazing, this is the best, it is well-written. It is written by technicians for technicians. That's rare, this is awesome. All right, once you get it, you're gonna to wanna to read it from front to back, and then you're gonna to wanna to do the questions, and then you're gonna to wanna to study up on the stuff that you got totally wrong. I'm talking about the stuff that you had no idea, the stuff that you were like A, B, C, D, you're like, I don't know, C. That's the stuff that you're gonna to have to take a note of it and do some serious research. I'm gonna guide you how to do that. Also, you're gonna to wanna to go to the AAC website, the official one, and you're gonna to wanna to buy the AAC practice test. Now, AAC does not have a practice test for all of their T-series, but they do have them for all of their A-series. Luckily, they do have them for T4. So let's go ahead and recap. Buy the Motor Age book, buy the official AAC practice test. All right, you've done those two things, now you're ready to actually take David's AAC Master Certified Technician's advice on how to pass it. You're gonna have to know how the whole entire 18-wheeler system works. There's three ways you could do that. You could go get your CDO and take a CDO class and learn it the hard way and go drive a truck. You could actually work on the stuff and been working on the stuff for years, or you could be like me and start from the ground level. I watch these YouTube videos. I actually watch one of them. I'll put in the link from like 1970s where this guy has this massive board where he's literally reconstructed every component, every air brake component in an 18 wheeler. And he goes step by step by step. That was indispensable. That was amazing. Like I watched it after I read this, after I did my, my, my uh, practice test and everything started to come together. And then after that, I started to watch individual videos on valves and on how to replace uh, uh, slack adjusters, how to adjust slack adjusters, how to know what a manual slack adjuster is versus an automatic slack adjuster, how you know when they fail, how they impact a, the actual air braking system. If you don't have no idea what a slack adjuster is don't feel bad I came in the same way but by the time I was done I was like got it right got it so you're gonna want to learn every component in the air brake system but luckily if you've been working on them you're like 200 miles away you're like you're good to go but if you're not it's gonna make sense because it's pretty much like a regular hydraulic brake system with the exception of air and of course without your master cylinder your brake booster you've actually got an air compressor and this air compressor pump air into these air tanks and then when you press on the brake and the 18 wheeler it disperses it but there's a lot of safety equipment that goes involved in it in case one of the tanks fails or if something else uh, if the air if you have an air leak here or if your air compressor dies or if your emergency brake doesn't work now it would make sense that a massive 18 wheeler would require a comprehensive fail safe parking brake well it really does as a matter of fact it's a serious spring activated parking brake which is really cool because it works in reverse of what you would think you know typically you need to apply something for the uh, parking brake to be on with these 18 wheelers you actually have to remove the air which is there's the critical part of the system to actually activate the the safety parking brake system which makes sense if you lost all your air you would still be able to park the vehicle which is important remember these things are big so you're going to want to know about 
uh, brake chatter. You're going to want to know about valves. You're going to want to know about what happens when the air starts coming out of the exhaust valves. I know I'm going to keep saying the word valve, but when you start studying, you're going to be like, ah, oh, David was right. I understand. There's so many valves. In these valves, they work a certain way. There's like a quick release valve. When you press the brake and you release it, the air is going to come out. It kind of makes sense because if you have air in one way, you need to let it out the other way. And if you don't let it out fast enough, you're not going to have that fast reaction, right? So you're going to have to know so so much about these valves and me talking about hours about each valve makes no sense when step one by the motor age book because these books will literally tell you everything from the part from the meat and potatoes part they'll break down all these components and everything and you as an individual based on your experience you're going to get your notebook and you're going to be a good technician you're going to be like i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this and that's when you're going to start researching it, right? When you're going to go in there, use YouTube. I mean, like, don't be ashamed of it. I passed, right? I'm master tech, right? I've got my L1. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm stacking them up. I passed. And most of you guys, in order for you to get your foot in the door, you need your certification. So it doesn't matter if you pass by working on a million 18 wheelers or if you do it my way, you're going to get your certification. And most of the time, you're going to get the real training on your job. So let's not focus about why YouTube isn't the right way to learn. It is the right way to learn because I pass, right? That's the way I learn. I've never worked on the 18 wheeler. There's a proof in the pudding. So you're going to go to every individual thing that you don't know about. Let's go ahead and talk about the trailer protection valve. Let's say that you need to figure out how that works. Guess what? There's amazing videos where there is guys who's worked on 18 wheelers their whole life. They'll come on there and they'll be like, hey, hello, welcome. My name is John and we're going to talk about the tractor trailer supply. And he's going to tell you everything he's learned in the past 20 years. He's going to tell you how to fix it, how to diagnose it and boom. But if you know everything about that subject, you don't need to do that. Essentially, my step process is motor age, AC practice test, jot down what you don't know, keep researching, keep researching, keep researching. And if you're stuck, if you're taking these tests and you're still missing things, or if you don't understand anything, reach out to me and I will guide you through the process. But I'm telling you right now, most of this stuff is going to be a how to troubleshoot, how to diagnose it in the test. I can't tell you exactly what's on it, but that's going to be a real important factor. Well, guys, I wish you the best on your T4. I'm super excited because here soon, I'm not only going to be an AAC certified automotive master technician, but I'm also going to be a truck master technician, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, you take care, stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.